Hey everybody and welcome back to Police 10-8 Talk. This is Officer Bosco. It's been a while since we've done a video. We apologize for that ahead of time, but unfortunately we've been like uber busy lately. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick uh, video on a new light that's actually not new, but uh, it's new to me. I actually just uh, uh, got me one a couple weeks ago. It is the PL2 Valkyrie. Okay, uh, This is made by a company, of o, uh, a company named Olight, which I'm a huge fan of Olight. Become more of a fan because I really like their products. They're uh, economically priced, but at the same time, I find that they're really decently made, uh, de decently made uh, piece of equipment. Um, this is basically a 1200 lumen light, and trust me, it is 1200. It is blinding. Um, it runs off of two CR123A batteries uh, instead of the uh, like the uh, TLR one, which has kind of the twist, uh, the twist activation. This one actually has the paddles, which is similar to, actually to the Surefire's. Uh, where you push that, it push these in on either side, it'll turn it on or off. Uh, it does actually have a strobe function as well, which if you double hit these both at the same time, it'll go into strobe mode. Um, the one thing I really like about this light, because sometimes I've carried on my duty gun now, um, the one thing I like about old lights is the fact that it has the quick detach on there, which makes it really nice when you're taking it on and off, like if you want to use it on different, different um, firearms and such. It's really nice just because it has that quick release on there, so you don't have to worry about like with the TLR ones, which I love the lights, but um, the screws the screws on the side kind of drive you nuts when you have a screw on the side because you got to take the screw, tight, untighten the screw to get the thing off. This thing, it's literally just that easy, just taking this quick release off. Show it. Um, put it on your gun. Yeah, let me put it on. Make sure. See, it, does, it is unloaded. Like I said, the great thing about this too. Like I said, as you basically it's a quick release. You just literally put it on there. So if I can get it on. Of course, I got it tightened. There we go. Take that off, snap it on, and literally now it's on there. And it's tight. Um, it does come with two inserts on it. It comes with the pick one uh, for pick tiny rails, which is what I have on there now because my Smith & Wesson MP45C has a pick rail on it. Uh, it also comes with an insert for the Glock as well. Um, the Glock will actually work on a pick rail, but sometimes it may be a little bit loose. The pick rail will only work, the Picatinny insert will only work on a Picatinny rail. Um, so if you're mounting it on like a long gun or something, you're probably going to have to put the Picatinny rail uh, insert on there or else it's going to be loose. But you can see that thing's rock solid on there. Um, like I said, it's 1200 lumens. It takes two CRL123A batteries. Uh, it is also waterproof as well. And let me read some of the specs to you real quick. Here's a real quick comparison to another light that we did a long time ago. You can see the, the it's a big difference between the uh, mini Valkyrie and the full size PL2 Valkyrie. Uh, of course, this is 400 lumens. This is 1200. So uh, it just depends on what you're going to be using it for. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, there's two quality made lights. Of course, uh, this has a recharging system. Like I said, this takes aftermarket batteries, uh, which I wish it had the charging system like the uh, PL Mini has as well. Um, let me read you a couple of stats off the box. Here's the fancy box that comes, the typical Olight box. Everything yeah. comes in these style boxes, as yeah. Officer Joel knows. Um, a total at 71.5 minutes. Uh, the throw is 235 meters. The throw is insane on this thing. I mean, it literally, we were lighting up trees near his department one night just trying to see how far the throw was, and it was literally, I'd say, a good 100-plus yards you could see plain oh, as day. Yeah, yeah easy. Um, it is water resistant. It does have a Cree LED, uh, which the great thing about the LEDs is they don't blow out like the old uh, incandescent lights and all that stuff. So the LEDs tend to, are really just, I think, the greatest thing since sliced bread other than, of course, the tasers in law enforcement. Um, now it does, um, the weight is 2.82 ounces. Okay, that's excluding the batteries. Um, like I said, it uh, has a Cree LED. It is waterproof. I believe it's to 50 meters. It's not saying on here, but I think it's to 50 meters. Now will that um, light fit in your Black Hawk Epic holster? No, it will not. It will only. This will only fit in my ALS holster. It won't fit in my black. It won't fit in my Black Hawk. Um, uh, but like I said, it's a it's a great great light, especially for the money. I think I got mine for around 100 ish, 110 ish dollars. Uh, considering that the equivalent Surefire X300 would run you about 300, 250 at least. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I could buy three of these for the cost of the Surefire, and whether or not these would stand up as good as the Surefires, I don't know. I uh, just got the light so far; it's been actually been uh, holding up really good. Uh, but over time, for the money, I like the old lights because, like I said, they make a good product. It's 
very inexpensive. Uh, their warranty is pretty decent as well. Um, so anyways, if you get a chance, pick up the Olight Valkyrie PL, PL2. This is the newer one. 1200 aluminum light when you get a chance, and go check out Olight's um, website. they got a ton of flashlights on there, and they're really spectacular. I've got like three or four of their flashlights, so I can definitely sing the praises of uh, Olight if you get a chance. And also give a shout out to Mr. Guns and Gear, because uh, if you actually want a comparison of the beams and stuff like that, he actually does several videos on the PL2 and I think the Mini Valkyrie as well, and I like watching his channel a lot. Uh, one thing I'd say about this thing is he actually tells a story. We had one fall off the back of his deck, one of these lights, and was submerged in water and mud for, I believe, it was six months. He happened to find it when the water receded one day, put two new batteries in it, and it worked perfectly fine. So that's that's not a testament for these lights. I don't know what is. But to get a chance, check out his videos as well. Anyways, this is Officer Bosco. Thanks for coming to Police Tank Talk. And remember, click and subscribe. And remember to be safe and watch your six.